Hi everyone, this is Lourdes. I wanted to take a moment to talk about some crystals that can help you with developing psychic abilities. Now, these are some of the fi my favorites, one of the, some of the ones I use, but feel free to use whichever ones feel best to you. Uh, for example, I really like lapis for the third eye, but some people use it for the throat chakra. You can paste, you know, put a piece on your third eye, or you can hold it in your hands when you meditate. The color of lapis it resonates very strongly with the energy of the third eye. It helps intensify it, and for some people, that helps open it up. Selenite is definitely one of my favorites. But with selenite, what I like to do is either massage my third eye or place it on my crown chakra. I find there's a deep connection between the crown chakra and the third eye. The more open my crown chakra is, the more my psychic abilities increase. So placing this above my crown chakra helps me with that. Clear quartz amplifies, intensifies everything. You can meditate with it, put it on your third eye, and it may give a kick to it. So please be aware, if you're using something like clear quartz, it may become too intense. Then if it is too intense, take it off of it, hold it in your hands, meditate with it, but don't put it on the third eye. Labradorite, one of my favorites. Labradorite brings a transformational energy in, and with that, I find it helps strengthen the walls of the chakra, and I know that sounds kind of odd, but it strengthens it so that it can open up more. And it's, some, it's a very different feeling. So please, when you try it, let me know what your experiences are with any of these crystals, but especially with Labradorite. Celestite is another one of my favorites. Now this one I like to use in my throat chakra because it helps, up, helps open up my ear chakras. And most people don't realize you have ear chakras, but the ear chakras are the ones where you can start your, uh, developing your clear audience. I've picked up music that I know is not from this planet in different places when I've used pieces like Celestite on my throat chakra. All of a sudden the ears just pop right open. And for some people maybe more subtle, you may hear like a whisper and you have to pay attention. But keep using it. It's one that may not do it immediately, but with time, you start feeling and sensing the differences. Amethyst is another one. People like it for the third eye. I like it for my crown chakra. It's another one. It helps bring in that purple ray, which I really want in my body. And it, I, what I say, it causes an expansion of my psychic abilities. So light for dream work is wonderful. Place it under your pillow at night or in your pillowcase. And before you go to bed, ask a question. You know, what can I do about this or what should I expect? And see what happens. In the morning, start writing down ideas. I usually say it takes a week or two for some people to see a pattern emerging. For some people, maybe overnight you're going to get the answer. But for others, it may take a week or two. Please start a dream journal. Start writing it down so you can start noticing what's happening. Fluorite's another one. Fluorite has purple and green color, and what I like about it, it connects the heart energy, because the heart knows a lot more than the mind does half the time, and it connects the crown chakra. So you have the two chakras connecting, and all of a sudden they're communicating a lot better. So you're able to receive the information and understand it on a soul level of what you need to do or what is happening, especially with psychic ability. I And angelite. Uh, this one is a much softer vibration than the other stones I've mentioned. The other stones all, except for Celeste, they have a little bit more of a kick. Angelite helps you connect with your angels, just like the name. It is very gentle. It is calming. It's soothing. So when you start receiving information from it, whether you're meditating it, with it, putting it on your throat chakra, putting it asleep, putting it on your pillow at night, be aware that it just may come as a, a you know, a quick uh, glimpse of something or a quick whisper or sound. You're going to have to pay attention, so please be aware. That's really important with this. One picture, one crystal I don't have here, but it's going to be in a picture above my head in this video, is azurite. 
I like Azurite and I like Apatite, both crystals for the third eye and the throat chakra. Azurite is more for the third eye, and Azurite is a, a deep blue in color. In fact, it reminds me of the night. When I have used Azurite, it has just, it can be, it felt like I had a headache. It was so strong for me. So please be gentle. Don't, you know, if it's too strong, take it off, give it a break, or try another Azurite crystal because it really can feel like there's a bolt of lightning going through. For some people, Appetite has the same thing. Now, I like to use Appetite both on the throat chakra, throat chakra and the third eye. And Appetite is a, probably like a blue-green color. And it also has felt the same way. I have felt, just like with Azurite, like there was a bolt of lightning going in and I had to take it off. And that's unusual for me because I can usually take a lot of energy from a crystal. So, with those crystals that are too strong for you, try using it another way. I will meditate with them, or I will hold them, or I'll place them under my pillow at night. But, if they're too strong for you when you meditate, I'm going to suggest don't put it under your pillow. Put it maybe in the room that you're sleeping in, because that energy may keep you up. It, yes, it may help your psychic abilities, but it, you're not going to get any sleep. Now these are just some of the crystals that I use. If you have any that you use, I'd love to hear about them. Or if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on my classes, services, sessions, please check out the description box which has everything from my social media pages to links on my website. If you have any questions, please feel free to either comment or email me. Thank you very much.